If you guys are gonna get out of this alive, you need to do exactly what I say. And that begins with taking off your clothes, okay? You need to get naked because crows hate clothes. If it rhymes, it has to be true. So we're just going to learn something about the old lumberjack man. Okay, come on, Granny. Give up those panties. Point Dexter, you too. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Just In Time Incorporated. And for today's episode, I think it's my final day. It feels like I only started here a couple of weeks ago, but now I only have two missions left. And unless they're hiding some kind of boardroom behind one of these giant useless screens, then I'm done. I've saved everybody. I filed all the paperwork. It's all handed off to Kevin. The only concern now being my hands. Because you guys all remember in the first episode, they said that they can't take back their magic gloves without killing me. And I can't imagine they're going to let me go home and use them myself. I keep trying to ask these Nimrods about the gloves, but they don't want to say anything. Actually, they don't really say anything to me. They're still kind of cold shoulder in the new guy, I guess. <laughs> you guys are just butt hurt that you don't have any fingers, and I do. Look at all these fingers. I got one finger for you. How about I just... Eh. There you go. How about that, tidy whities I'm not gonna pretend like I've memorized every policy holder here, but I definitely don't recognize all of these names. And look, there's so many people at risk and people that are critical. Karen Phillips is critical twice. Okay, why can't I just go save her? <laughs> I don't need to be fired, okay? There's, there's still more work, I'm sure. We can go to the tree huggers or the crows. What do you mean the crows? Three of six clients, age mixed. Save as many as you can. <laughs> I like that. I mean, if, if I save zero, right, that's as many as I could get. More of Dr. Peta's experiments have gone berserk. That's the rat guy. Save at least three of the townsfolk. Oh, so they're some kind of crazy mutant crows. Hopefully they're not adolescent ninjas as well. Mutant crows have ravaged the town. Save at least three clients to minimize our payouts. No, 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 no. You said as many as I could, not at least three. You're, you're changing the policy as many as you can. But I still don't quite get it. Like, they're just... They're crows. What makes them mutant? I expected them to have, like, masks and nunchucks and stuff. They're just stupid birds. What's wrong with... I recognize these people. Right? It's uh, the old lady whose husband got hit by the car, and uh, that stupid guy in the woods that went bear hunting, the point extra from the laser tank, and the dude from the titty bar. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, I do Ooh. Okay, yeah, maybe that's what's wrong with them. Taking a second to assess the situation, and I think we might be in trouble. Like, even if you don't count that bad apple over there, and the fact that they're just regular-sized crows, there's a whole bunch of them. And more importantly, I don't really have... I have a bat. Really? I came to save six people from an army of mutant crows, and all you could afford was a Louisville slugger? We, we had a laser tank. What are we doing here? This is not going to go well. I'm just going to tell you guys right now. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. I, I got something for you. Batter's up. Batter's up. Uh... Oh my god, it evaporated! If you guys are gonna get out of this alive, you need to do exactly what I say. And that begins with taking off your clothes, okay? You need to get naked because crows hate clothes. If it rhymes, it has to be true. So we're just gonna learn something about the old lumberjack man. Okay, come on, Granny. Give up those panties. Point Dexter, you too. You guys shrunk since the last time I saw you? I remember you guys being quite a bit bigger. Okay, hippie boy, you're the last one. There we go. Okay, everybody is naked. Everybody's safe. Running faster this way. Less weight. Oh, these guys look like troublemakers. Yeah, what are you up to? Come on, bring it on. You want some? Who's up first? <laughs> there we go. Get out of here. Maybe they won't attack us. Maybe they're, maybe they're cool. Wait a minute, what? Oh my god, okay. Now we're... Hold on, talking. Hello, come to Papa. How, how do you, how, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 I can grab the birds too? Wait, I can just, yes, 
Yes, this is everything I've ever wanted in this game. No, 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 it can't, no, 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 there has to be more ammo. Oh, there is, okay, wait, no, okay, the little girl might be dead. The, that, that guy might be dead as well. I'm sorry, guys, I'm new to this. Let's, let's just, I've just been disarmed by a crow. Granny, help. Don't think that you've gotten the best of me yet. He died in a very graceful pose. That was Granny's fault, right? Where was she on that one? I definitely do like the gun, but I think it's a bit of a detriment right now, considering I killed more people than crows last time. <laughs> so maybe we'll just stick to the tried and true bat for now. Right, you still want some? How about I just hold this up? Are you that dumb? Yup. We're gonna get ahead of things. Look at these troublemakers over here. They're just hanging out, loitering, loitering crows? Really? I thought you guys were better than that. Silly mutant adolescent crows. Are they all dead? I think you guys are you guys are good and dead, right? I want to get ahead, but it looks like there's gonna be troublemakers diving down on the group. So I need to keep an eye on them. Tricky crows. Okay, these these guys definitely look like they're up to something. Are you up to something? No, I think he's good. Oh wait, hey, get back here. Won't be disarmed by crows anymore. That guy had a bad day. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, yep, that's, yeah, that's a whole, it's really hard to hold a bat in VR. Okay, she might be in trouble. Crap, 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 no, oh my god. There's just no stopping them. They fly through you. You guys are definitely not ready for this, all right? I need you to keep your head down, because I'm going to turn into a baseball bat tornado right now. I'm going to grand slam some feathered freaks right at you. So if you don't want to catch a beak right in the eye, then get down. See if I can just line you up and then, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's a grand slam. Now it's very important that we get ahead of things and play flawless Whack-A-Crow, right? It's like Whack-A-Mole, except in this case, we're saving people's lives rather than winning Chuck E. Cheese points. There we go. Okay, so those guys on the roof shouldn't be activated now, right? They're not gonna get startled by the group that's flying over them, so we can go over here. Hey, 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 I need that. No disarming me, rude. You can go, you can go. You guys good? Oh, we got some flyers. Hold on, hold on. We, we can deal with the flyers. Let's just see if we can get this working, shall we? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep, keep your head down, keep your head down. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm well aware of what I'm doing. I think I need to spin it this way. That's the stuff. Yeah, come at me, crows. <laughs> come with me if you want to leave. No, no, no. Okay, we need to sacrifice the little one. The little one has to go. And, uh, it, okay, there we go. No, we're good. These guys look like they want some as well. <laughs> okay, uh, that's, that's my ammo. Whoops. Guys, I know team morale is a little low right now because I had to shoot the girl in the face, okay? But it was very important. I only need to save three of you for the policy payouts to be affordable. That's probably more information than I should have shared with you, actually. Um, I think the crow problem is pretty well done with. You know what that means? You should probably help you guys out of your clothes. Yeah, crows be gone, clothes be gone. I don't know why I expected there to be some kind of like six foot tall king crow waiting over here, but I think we're probably good. In reality, I don't even need to save all six of them. So what if I saved only four? Who are we gonna vote off the island, guys? Is it gonna be uh, Mittens here? Granny, how about Point Dexter? That, that's three votes for Point Dexter? Well, I, I guess he didn't make it. You are voted off the island. Goodbye. I feel like a supportive wife just encouraging her husband across the finish line. Come on, you could do, oh, there's crows. Ooh, what? Where did they come from? No, no, no. What are you guys doing? Oh, I, I'm ready for you. Got my, my Taekwon crow waiting just, uh, crow, oh crap, uh, crow fist. No, why, why, why does that not work? Yeah. No, no, oh crap, that's my green screen. No, no, don't fall over. Don't touch the people. I'm so close to finishing this level. Go, move faster, you idiots. I'm ruining everything behind me. Thank God. You guys think mutant crows are terrifying. Just imagine punching a green screen that's suspended between two chairs and two tripods on a shower curtain dangling over a stairwell. There is literally duct tape holding this thing up right now. If you give it one good punch, the video's over. 
Justin, guess what? I've only got... Okay, screw you then. I've only got one mission left, and then we're done. I can't believe it. So, we're moving on to Tree Huggers. Kevin and Garcia? Like, my Kevin? Did you hear about this? Kevin might be in trouble. Age 35, 42, lumberjack, and a lover of trees. The Save the Trees protest is about to go very wrong. Kind of reminds me, how do we know what's going to happen? Is there something weird going on here? With the lumberjacks distracted, trees are not the only ones in danger. Ensure that Kevin and Garcia survive. So... Kevin, okay, so Kevin Garcia, oh, yeah, there is your problem. That's a real big tree to be ignoring, guys. All right, so how exactly do we convince you to move? Trees are people, too. Ah, uh, well, then this person's about to slap you right in the dick. Can, can we move? Can I just, oh, why did I think that would help? What are you complaining about? If trees are people too, then you can chainsaw people. Can I maybe get like a little tiny hint? Because, I mean, these hands are used to grabbing some real thick pole, if you know what I mean, but I don't think I can stop that tree from falling. I, I can give it a try. Let's just jump over here and, uh, there we go. Is it, is it working? I don't think it's, I don't think it's, I don't think it's working. No, that's, that's definitely a problem. Um, I don't suppose I can convince you guys to move, huh? But just get rid of these clothes. Yeah, now you're just wearing silly flip-flops. Are you ready to run away in fear? Uh, what if I untie you? Nope, I'm just gonna get half your shirt off. Oh, hold on. Wait, that wouldn't help. This tree is clearly going down, right? So why would I want to tree killer 4,000? That doesn't seem like it's- Oh! Oh! Um... You're the guy from the church, right? Well, I guess mutant crows weren't your biggest issue. So I don't want to pull this. What if I push you? Yeah, there we go. That doesn't help the whole tree situation, though. What if I make you run, right? What if I get rid of your- Not your clothes. I want to get rid of this. And then you'll run away and distract them with those luscious titties of yours. Uh, well, so much for that plan. Ooh, yeah. That guy wish he got chainsawed. So the only two policyholders are Kevin and Garcia, which is you and you. Which means the hippie isn't with us, right? Maybe if I chainsaw him, that would distract Kevin and, and he would leave. First, we need to go over here, right? We could just turn you off, turn you off. Here we go, okay, that's good. So I can just borrow this for a moment. We'll go over here and, uh, ooh. Yeah, you see, that was definitely distracting. He's, he's just looking away in shame. Uh, maybe I can cut the tree down even more. Would that help? Oh! Oh, that does kind of help. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a lumberjack. <laughs> I wonder if I cut this tree down as well. Can I? Yeah. Mmm. That's that's my bad. Might. Mm. Oh no, we're good. You're not policyholders, so nuts to you guys. And to think that this protest was gonna go horribly wrong. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. I still really want to see what would happen if I just try to cut you loose. Just gonna get those ropes. Yeah, see, just, just, whoa, 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 uh, little, little bit much, little much. That's a leg. You're still good, right? Yeah, she's fine. Just chin up. Not that high. How about you there? Get her done. <laughs> oh, I really like the chainsaw. <laughs> oh, come on, man. They weren't policy holders, right? That was my last mission. You've managed to complete all our outstanding assignments in a single work day. It appears we hired you just in time. Before you go home for the day, perhaps you might enjoy our hastily put together credits level. Uh, no, I, I think I'm good. Well, if you change your mind, you can access the credits at any time in the lobby. 
Oh yeah, look at that. No, that's everything. I need more. But I think that's gonna be it for Just In Time Incorporated, guys. And once again, thank you guys so much for supporting this series. Like ever since the first video, people were very receptive, very supportive. I really appreciate it because I've had a lot of fun with this game. And I know it's a little bit disappointing that it's over. Maybe they'll update it. I've heard that they're still casually adding more missions, maybe. If they do, I'd love to return. And if not, it's not the end of the world. I'll move on to another VR game that I'm sure will love just as much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.